Now here at home, the Troy-based American Syrian Arab Cultural Association is raising money for relief organizations. The group is also concerned about the impact of international politics on the ground. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast has their plea for compassion. As heartbreaking images of a devastating earthquake make their way around the world, Syrian Americans worry for their families caught in the rubble. I started my communication with them right after the earthquake took place. Sam Yunus lives in Metro Detroit, moving from Syria in 1988. A relative back home was at home during the earthquake that brought her building to the ground. She was pulled out of the rubble. She was lucky, um, but none... Nobody else from her nine-story building survived. Eunice and the American Syrian Arab Cultural Association have been raising funds for U.S. aid organizations and are also asking the U.S. to ease sanctions on Syria, starting a petition online. Our aim is to help the people there. Uh, they're in dire need. They've been under so much stress for so many years. The U.S. government says they haven't spoken to the Syrian government since the disaster, but are sending aid through other groups. We're a leading provider of uh, humanitarian assistance to Syria, to the Syrian people, not uh, to the government. Nothing really stops aid from coming in. Other Syrian Americans like Kutaibu Adlibi says U.S. sanctions aren't preventing aid. He wants them to remain in place, but says the conflict created just one approved crossing into Syria, now hard to travel, having been damaged by the earthquake. If the current crisis is an indication of anything, is that the current cross-border system is not working. We can't just depend on one border crossing to send aid in and one very vulnerable border crossing. As Syrian Americans continue to watch the devastating images emerge, they only hope that humanity prevails over politics. We can't wait truly really for governments and for political calculations to really decide the fate of thousands of people who have suddenly been buried under the rubble of their own homes. Anything uh, that can be sent there, I can make it there. No matter where in Syria, it can be of great help to the people. And the American Syrian Arab Cultural Association is appealing for donations to three different U.S. and U.N. affiliated aid organizations. We'll have a link to those on our website, WXYZ.com. I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.